Hello and uh, welcome today. Uh, my name is Yasser Gulfroz and I'm your tutor for today's session, uh, Business Research Proposal, uh, Advanced Business Research Methods. And uh, today we will discuss uh, structure of the research proposal. And this is our last lecture of uh, Advanced Business Research Methods. And uh, we are going to discuss uh, your assignments. So anyone is there? So if anyone is there, please uh, do let me know if you can't see my screen or if any issue with voice. Okay, so we'll be discussing the structure of a research proposal in the context of advanced business research method. Uh, as your work on your research proposals, it is important to understand the key components that make up a comprehensive and well-organized proposal. So here we are going to cover important aspect of conducting research in a business and economics context. By end of this session, you will have the a skill needed to develop research approaches, uh, critically review literature, design businesses, uh, research methodologies, and even uh, present a research proposal uh, confidentially. Uh, research is an essential aspect of understanding the business world and making informed decisions to uh, develop uh, uh, research approaches effectively. You need to start by clearly uh, defining your research questions or problem, direct interaction with stakeholders such as business owners, economics or consumers will help you gain valuable insight uh, formulating research objectives and hypotheses will guide your uh, study and help focus your efforts. Uh, remember to consider both qualitative and qu uh, quantitative methods to gather comprehensive data. Uh, literature review is an important uh, step that allows you to understand the uh, existing knowledge and identify gaps in the research area. Uh, when critically reviewing literature, uh, literature make sure you interact with scholarly articles, books and reputable resources, pay attention to research methodologies employed and the conclusions drawn by different authors. Uh, engage with the material actively questioning the finding methodologies and informations to develop a well round uh, perspective. A research proposal serves as a roadmap for you, your study in, uh, in uh, for your study. Uh, yeah. Research method is uh, a roadmap for your uh, study. Uh, it outlines your research objectives, methodologies, expected outcomes, and the significance of your uh, research topic. <clears throat> so uh, let's start with uh, you know uh, structure together, research proposal, structure of the research proposal together. So. Chapter one, which is introduction. Introduction in this chapter, you will set the uh, foundation for the research proposal by providing essential background information and clearly outlining uh, the purpose of your study. Uh, begin with a background study the, that provides context for your research topic. Discuss the current state of knowledge in the field and highlight any a key development or trends that are relevant to your research. Uh, explain the rationale behind your research, for example, why your study is important and relevant to the field of business and economics. Identify the uh, research gap, which is the specific area where your study intend to uh, contribute new knowledge or address unanswered uh, questions. 
clearly state the aims and objectives of your research. The aims are the uh, broad goals you aim to achieve through your study while the objectives are specific. Measurable targets that will help you accomplish those aims. Uh, formulate clear and concise research question, then align with your aims and objectives. These questions should guide your research and help you focus on the key areas of investigation. Uh, literature review. Uh, literature review is the chapter, in this chapter, you will critically review the existing academic literature related to your research topic. Uh, this section is vital as it demonstrates your understanding of the field and helps establish the uh, theoretical framework for your study. Uh, you just need to discuss the uh, academic theories and concepts relevant to your research, uh, present a clear overview of these theories and explain how you relate to your research topic. Then a uh, critical review, critical analysis, the existing literature uh, pointing out the strengths, weaknesses, gap or uh, contradictions in the current knowledge. Identify areas where uh, further research is needed and how your study intend to address these gaps based on the theories and literature you have reviewed. Uh, develop a conceptual framework for your research. So this framework provides a structure for, uh, uh, for organizing your research and uh, guiding your uh, data uh, analysis. Any questions so far if anyone is there? Okay, next one is uh, methodology. Method methodology in this chapter, uh, <clears throat> you will outline the research methodology you, you, you plan to employ in your study. The methodology provides the roadmap for how you will gather and analyze data to address your research questions. Uh, use research onion and explain uh, its components with proper justification. Introduce the research onion and multiple layered approach that helps you structure your research. Explain each layer of the onion, including our philosophies, approaches, strategies, choices, and techniques. Uh, justify your choices for each layer based on the nature of your research and the objectives of your study. Uh, describe the sampling techniques you will use to uh, select principal or data points for your study. <clears throat> Justify your chosen sampling methods uh, based on its appro uh, appropriateness for your research design. Additionally, specify the sample sizes, size and explain how it will ensure the reliability and validity of your fun, uh, finding. <clears throat> yeah. Outline the data collection techniques you plan to use, such as surveys, interviews, observations, or secondary data sources. Justify your selection by explaining how each technique aligns with your uh, research questions and objectives. Uh, discuss the advantages and uh, limitations of your chosen data collection method. Uh, detail your approach to data analysis. Explain the techniques you will use to analyze the data you have collected, such as statistical analysis or uh, the metric code. Describe how you choose and methods will help you answer your research question and draw meaningful conclusions. Address the ethical consideration of your uh, research, especially when dealing with the human participants. Explain how you will ensure informed consent uh, confidentially and data protection throughout your study. Discuss any potential ethical challenges and how you will address them. Acknowledge the limitation of your research clearly. Identify potential constraints or factors that may affect the scope or generalizability 
of your finding, demonstrating as aware of these limitations, how uh, uh, limitations shows realistic and thoughtful approach to your research. And then finally, uh, chapter four, which is a project plan. In this chapter, you will present your plan for the dissertation, outline the timelines and steps you will follow to complete your research. Important uh, uh, points, uh, structure of the proposal, be very clear about your research title. Uh, it must be uh, clear, uh, clearly define your research title. You should uh, present well-defined aim and objectives uh, <clears throat> and identify the research gap or research need to intend to address. Uh, including research questions which will be answered during the course of the research. Uh, then uh, structure of proposal indicative words. Anybody can uh, see my screen if anyone is there? Okay, so chapter one, introduction, uh, 450 to 450 words. In this chapter, you will provide essential background information and outline the uh, purpose of your research studies. Then you will come to the literature review, 800 up to 900 words. Uh, in this chapter, you will outline the research. Uh, uh, in this chapter, you will uh, critically review existing academic literature related to your research topic. Then you will come to the uh, chapter three, which is methodology. Uh, and data collection, 800 to 900 words. In this chapter, you will outline the research methodology and data collection techniques you plan to employ in your study. Uh, be clear and uh, thorough in explaining your choices. Then chapter four, conclusion and work plan. Uh, in this concluding chapter, you will summarize the key points of your proposal and outline your work plan to the uh, research. Any questions so far, if anyone is there? Okay. So next one, <clears throat> now we will explore into uh, the literature review, a section of your research proposal, the literature, uh, Review is a critical components. Literature components uh, that establishes the theoretical foundation for your study and demonstrate your understanding of the field. So uh, defining definition of uh, term concepts, theories and model related to the research topic, area critical review of academic literature, uh, critical review of academic literature clearly highlights uh, a sporting contrasting review view. Uh, make sure uh, you refer last 10 years literature. Uh, you will, we will help you give latest work done by academics in this in the field of research. Identify research areas variable of interest, which will form the basis of data collection of your research. Develop a conceptual framework. Uh, methodology, uh, here we will discuss the methodology section of your research proposal. Method, you need to be clear, uh, research paradigm, inter, uh, uh, Pretrivist, positivist, and realist research approach and inductive, uh, deductive methodology choice, research strategy, time horizon, techniques, and procedures. Uh, research paradigm, interpretivist or positivist. Uh, first, you need to identify the research paradigm that aligns with your research philosophy. Decide whether your study will adopt an interpretivist 
positivist or realist approach. Then research approach, inductive or deductive. Uh, next, uh, you need to clarify whether, whether your research approach will be inductive or deductive. Uh, determine if your uh, you will uh, drive hypotheses and uh, uh, theory, uh, theories are from existing literature, inductive, or if you will develop new theories based on observations and data. Uh, specify your choice, chosen methodologies approach, such as case study, experimental survey, or in uh, ethnographic, additionally identify the research strategy you will employ such as cross section uh, sectional or uh, longitudinal or uh, long uh, longitudinal uh, mention the time horizon then uh, of your research whether it will be cross section study conducted at specific point in time or uh, carried out over an extended period Uh, discuss the uh, techniques and procedures you will use to gather data and conduct your research. This could include surveys, interviews, observations, or the collection of secondary data from uh, reputable sources. Uh, next. Uh, methodology clearly define what type of sample you will using, uh, including the inductive sample size and uh, characteristics of the population sample. Uh, for example, if you are studying social media marketing in organization, uh, specify the characteristics of the uh, participants, such as having at least five years of experience. Explain the data collection techniques you will employ if you are using a primary data details, your survey or interview question. If you are using secondary data, specify the sources from which you will gather the data. Uh, methodology uh, data analysis, how it will be done if quantitative ethical consideration. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, so if quantitative uh, quantitative data discuss the tools you will use, such as R, SPSS, or other statistical uh, software. Uh, if your research is uh, qualitative, mention whether you will manually analyze the data or uh, use software like uh, uh, NYVO. So address the ethical principle guiding your research, such as informed consent, uh, voluntary participation, and confidentially explain how you will meet all ethical guidelines throughout your study. <clears throat> uh, methodology. Limitations of the study briefly include a paragraph or an imitation of the study. Including a paragraph briefly outlining the uh, limitation of your study, identify potential cons constraints or factors that may affect the scope or generalizability of your finding. Uh, project plan. So, uh, this is the final aspect of your research proposal, uh, the project plan. The project plan uh, outlines the different milestones of your dissertation project and helps you stay organized uh, and on track throughout the research proposal. Uh, Include a project plan which covers the different milestones of the dissertation project. Refer to the indicative project plan on the next uh, slide. So, in the project plan, provide a timelines for your dissertation project, breaking it down into different milestones and in uh, and activities. Uh, this plan will guide you in managing your time and resources effect effect efficiently. Uh, 
take a look at the indicative project plan provided on the next uh, slide as it said so it serves a model for structuring your own project plan uh customize it to uh fit the specific requirements and duration of your research uh proposal here important points uh ensure at least uh, 12 to 15 references so ensure you have a sufficient number of references in the literature review at least 12 to 15 and then uh, reference system uh, use harvard reference style for all citations and bibliography then uh, give proper heading and uh, subheadings uh, structure your documents with proper heading and subheadings to uh, make it look professional and presentable <laughs> include questionnaire in the appendix so number your figures and tables for easy references and clearly and include your questionnaire in the appendix sections to provide transparency in your research methodology so uh, keep a check on words count words uh, limit is a very important part of your assignment so you always keep your eye on uh, you know uh, word count so keep a close check on your word count styling within the you can add more 10 percent more or you know that uh, reduce 10 percent so uh, 10 percent is a tolerance limit specified in the assignment guidelines uh that's it for today so with this we conclude today's lecture which was about uh, uh, assignment uh, so i hope you found the information uh, helpful in preparing your research approach uh, proposal uh remember you have two weeks from today to submit your assignments uh use this time wisely to create a well-structured and uh, thoroughly uh, researched proposal. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for your attention during the uh, today's lecture. If you have any question or need further guidance, uh, please drop me an email at yasir at ukversity.co.uk. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Best of luck uh, uh, with your research proposal and I'm looking forward to seeing you your thoughtful and uh, well-prepared work. So uh, keep up the great effort, everyone. And uh, thank you very much and uh, have a good day and bye for uh, now.